Hi guys, it's Vincent here. Uh, this is our fourth episode for this series. So yeah, as you guys know, with ROG, we all make laptops. And of course, when it comes to gaming laptops, uh, specs is very important, but we also have a lot of other features meant for all kinds of gamers from all walks of life. So this week, we're actually going to be checking out the ROG Zephyr series. And I think who better to tell us more about it than Shufei. I think you guys probably already know her. Hi guys, my name is Shufei, and I have been in like the gaming industry for like a four years now. So I am a streamer and a content creator. So I'm really excited for today because I would like to thank Thank uh, ROG Malaysia for having me today because we're going to be unboxing some laptops. So yeah, let's start. Let's start. Okay, so the first one I picked is the M16. Okay, so this is how the box looks like. Okay, so it's a very huge box and I really like how there's a handle. At the front, we have like the ROG Zephyrus design really right here. Yeah, we have the black and the white. So okay, let's take out the laptop first and let's check out what's in the box. Yes, this. Okay, so, yeah, basically the manual and stuff, instructions. So the next thing is actually just the charger. So this year we did reduce the size a little bit. It's oh, okay. 240 watt, but still relatively compact. It's, there's supposed to be a mouse inside. So imagine you get this laptop, right? You get a free mouse. You get a free mouse, you get a free bag, and also a USB C charger. Which it's a bag? About. Yes. So this comes in off black. Does this have another color? No, MCT. this one is only black. Okay, so as you can see, the laptop is really sleek and it's very slim. Yeah, it's not that heavy. For this series, it's mm. basically inspired by you know clothing and whatnot. Ooh, ooh, so yeah. it's like this type of branding instead mm -hmm. of like a big ROG logo. Yeah, okay, let's open it up. Da -da -da -da. Okay, the first thing I noticed about this laptop, right, is that the bezels are so small. Yes, the bezels yeah. are actually hidden below the exactly. lower half here. Did we actually show off this? I don't know whether they actually got to see it. Yeah, it's like the ROG kind of design right so yeah and then underneath yeah. the holes you actually get this prismatic film mm. which actually reflects like so as you move it around you know it looks kind of cool okay so what are the specs for this one okay i see intel i see nvidia yeah so this mm. is actually the only uh, intel powered the first and also features uh, nvidia graphics nvidia geforce rtx okay we have the zephyrus g15 okay okay we have the same box okay and the laptop is right here okay Right off the bat, right, I do see a slight difference. So the previous one, the M16, is off black, right? So this mm. one is a little bit lighter. It's like a grey. It's called Eclipse Grey. Okay, so for the box, we have the charging brick. Yep. Yes. And then the manual. And then let's hope the mouse is in there. Is there a mouse? Yes, this one has the mouse. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so okay, you will get a mouse. ROG Chakram Core mouse. Yep. Okay, so this is the Zephyrus G15. Okay, so the outer right appearance actually it looks pretty much the same. Bam! So this is how it looks like inside. Right off the bat, I can see that the bezels are a little bit thicker on the bottom. Everything's pretty much the same. Yeah, uh, but this one is Ryzen. Yeah. AMD. Overall design is actually identical. So oh, even... but I think this one slants a little bit higher than this, right? Yes, I yeah, believe it's, it's tilted, uh, probably yeah. to facilitate more cooling. For this, the G15, we have a white color one. <laughs> so this one, so you can see it has that same prismatic feel. Mm. So this one is a pretty interesting one. Is this a new revamp? Yes, actually with the first G14, we already started this design. Mm -mm -mm. So for the latest G14, there is a slight new design oh, language with it. Okay, okay. I actually like this box a little bit more because you know why? It reminds me of like, you know streetwear, like the kind of design. Yes. I don't know, it's very modern, very sleek. I like it. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, okay, so they revamped like the top part of the case also, which is very nice. Okay, so we have the laptop right here. Okay, this is smaller than the previous two that we have seen. Okay, let's see what's inside the box first. They're all the same? This is pretty much the same. I think okay. we don't need to read the manual. And then we have the charging brick. Yeah. Same thing. Just to show them the charging mm. brick. So yeah, pretty much the same size. Okay, so here is the G14. Okay, this one is like a grey also, mm. right? Yeah. And it also comes in white. Ta-da! Okay, this one is really nice. The bezels are very small as well. And then I see that it is powered by AMD like fully. Ryzen 7 mm. and also the Radeon graphics. This is one of the options that uh, we offer for gamers who prefer AMD. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, okay, so this is the thing that I was talking about. So this one you can actually put like logos and stuff like that. Yeah, these are unique to us and also good conversation starter. So you're opening there and then people will talk to you, hey, what's, what's with your laptop? Why is there something on the back? Let's unbox the last unit oh, for today. Oh, the last one I'm very excited about actually. Okay. <laughs> 
So this is the okay, you intro. Let me take the okay. So this is the ROG Zephyrus Duo 16, and you can see that it comes in two separate boxes instead of like that single box previously. Let's just look at the design first, okay? This box is really cool. Okay, so this box, right, as you can see, it's not like the previous boxes that we have uh, unboxed. Essentially, it's like inspired by our game. You know, we have actually a game on Steam. Oh, you guys have a game? Yeah, it's called ROG Citadel. You can go check it out. Okay, now let's open the box. Wow, I like this. This design even more, eh? So they have the ROG logo on the right here as you can see and it's like purple, blue, like ombre-ish I don't even know what to, like, uh, I, what, I how to describe it I don't even know what colour it is but most probably it's like yeah. purple-ish on the black so it's like very contrasty yeah. and you can yeah. see that we have actually added like the UV dots here mm -hmm. so it gives you that similar experience a similar look to what we have for the earlier three the first laptops the manual kit right here as you can see this one has a little bit more design compared to the previous one okay but show the show the camera okay so you open it up it's like this so yeah this is a big charger so compared to like this 280 watts well this is 240 watts so the size difference is actually quite significant there's another charger right here at the bottom in this one this is a usb-c charger yeah so all of them come with this little <laughs> compact charger as an alternative charger mm. for when you're on the go this one's a little bit heavier, but still quite light compared to all the other laptops that I've tried. Yeah, I think you need to show them I why. Know, I know why is it called a duo already. Uh, it's too big. Yeah, oh. oh. So as mentioned, this is like the heavier, um, ah. the heaviest like, among the four. But considering that you have two screens, I think it sort of makes sense. Oh, it has the RGB. Yeah, this one has the most RGB. Yeah. So earlier we mentioned that those other three laptops mm -hmm. only have like one zone. This one has perky RGB. So this actually goes under the display when you close it. Yep, so yep, yep. You can see it close. It goes away. So yeah, this system is developed, we call it the AS Plus 2.0. Mm -hmm. Whereby the 1.0 actually raised the screen. I see. But 2.0 moves it closer to the main screen. Mm. So you can see that there's like no gap between the main and the second screen. Oh uh, yeah, so it makes it like very seamless. Like it's like one screen, like, you know, combined. Yeah. One thing I like, right? I think this is an up, unpopular opinion, um, but the trackpad is on the right. Like you know how normal laptops, right? Yeah, the trackpad the is at the bottom, like of the keyboard, and then like it's in the center. Honestly, I don't really like to use like trackpads. Usually, when I use laptops, right, I will connect like a mouse or something. I think the mm. trackpads nowadays actually improved a lot, so yeah. maybe you should retry the experiences. With yeah, the I guess laptops. I should, but I think it's just the ergonomic side of things. Oh, yeah, you can turn it into a mouse, uh, like a uh, numpad. Numpad, numpad. Yeah. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh, it's using the Ryzen 9? Yes, so this yeah. one is the only Ryzen 9. The other mm. two Ryzen laptops are Ryzen 7. This is the Ryzen 9 6900HX, uh. which is like the highest end AMD processor, AMD mm -hmm. mobile processor they have. And also supports the NVIDIA graphics, so all the way up to 3080 Ti. Oh, is this touchscreen? Yes. It is oh, touch okay, okay. and if you actually run like Adobe software stuff, mm, mm, mm. you actually turn the control panel. Oh. But yeah, unfortunately, we don't have any stuff. Also, it's like optimized for like Adobe and stuff. Like. Yeah, so it's it was, actually meant uh -huh. for like creators, streamers. Yeah, I can definitely see how this is useful for streaming because like, you know, sometimes for streamers, right, even for me, like I have a PC set up at home, right, so I have dual monitors. So it's like sometimes if you have one monitor, it's very hard to like multitask, right? You need like more windows open. So this one is like very useful because like you have like an extra one at the bottom. In general, they do have like some similarities, right? Like yeah. throughout the whole like Zephyr's line. Thematically, you mm. can see that they are targeting the thin and light. This one is 2.6, yeah, but still uh, very light for dual screen. Mm -hmm. But of course, aside from just the, the similarity and also the design, we have stuff like, you know, the Mark Switch, DDR5 across all of them. And also, we have liquid metal and the ROG Intelligent Cooling. I heard about the ROG display also. It's called like Nebula display, right? Yep. Actually, we have ROG Nebula mm. across this. Uh, the G14, the M16, and also the Duo 16. When you see ROG Nebula, it's like you confirm you will get uh, this certain quality specs. So like for uh, example for this, this is a WQHD display. Mm -hmm. So the minimum that we have set is 120 hertz, and then it must meet 100% DCI-P3, and it also must be three milliseconds, and all of that is all integrated into one single name, ROG Nebula. 
Okay. So we also have ROG Nebula HDR, which is a mini LED panel. So like you have, you want to see more HDR content, you can go for the HDR, which is available on this model here. Yeah. So that's all the time we have for today. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you so much for, for checking me. our laptops and giving a very interesting opinion on the trackpad as well as yeah. the anime metrics. So make sure to join us the next time we have a webisode as well as join Shupe's Twitch stream. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's it. Bye bye. Bye.